off it, everybody. I'm Sabrina Salas Matanani, and welcome to another edition of E Historiata. In May, 27 island nations will converge on Guam, each with a role to portray in FESPAC, but taking the leading role is Guam's theater delegation. Here's their story. I'm Jefferson Cronin, and uh, I am co chair of the theater subcommittee for FESPAC. Tasked with leading Guam's theater delegation, University of Guam professor Jefferson Cronin started acting when he was 15 years old. I did uh, children's theater and uh, I have been doing theater uh, ever since as an actor, uh, director, writer, producer and teacher. And uh, uh, I started out on the East Coast. Uh, the D.C. area and I worked all throughout the East Coast and the Midwest as an actor mostly uh, before coming to Guam. I've been in Guam 22 years now. And over those two decades, Cronin has produced, written, directed and acted in countless local productions. When we came here, we came here to do theater and we founded Theater Guam with uh, Diane Thurber and uh, Karen Flores and we did uh, for about 15, almost 15 years, we did uh, uh, semi-professional theater here, the biggest theatrical hits in Guam history we produced, I'm very proud to say, and raised a lot of money for charities and community organizations. And uh, so when the opportunity to do uh, FESPAC came up, I jumped at it because this is uh, an international event, you know. We have professionals and amateurs from all over the Pacific coming here and uh, it's a chance for us to work with people from New Zealand and Australia and Hawaii but also the Solomons and, and uh, the Marshalls and all kinds of places like that. So it's a, a unique opportunity uh, for an artist but also but, and for Guam of course it's a unique opportunity because if this ever happens again it'll be 50 years you know because FESPAC happens every four years and it rotates. Close to 30 of the island's finest performers, managers and technicians comprise the FESPAC theater delegation. According to Cronin, the group will produce five original scripts written by Guamanians about Guam and hosting about 15 shows from other countries. So for the two weeks of FESPAC, every afternoon and every night here at the UOG Theater, there's going to be productions uh, from all over the region and we're very very excited about this uh, we don't know what people are bringing you know what kind of plays they have what, I mean the, it's going to be fascinating uh, these are all originals from uh, these countries and cultures uh, and uh, it's going to be a fascinating experience um, and I think the people of Guam, our, uh, the locals, uh, the biggest problem we're going to have is we can't see everything. Because, you know, there's something during FESPAC, the two weeks of FESPAC, there's something going on in every village uh, all the, pretty much all the time. And so it's going to be fascinating, the, 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 just the opportunity to observe all these great artists and craftspeople from all over the region, all over the Pacific. Uh, and in theater, we're very excited to be able to share what we have with them and perhaps more so learn from them. As an educator and lifelong theater person, Cronin says the most important aspect of the Festival of Pacific Arts for him is the doors it will open for Guam's theater delegates. They're mostly uh, they're young people, many of them are students still, and uh, they're very motivated. Uh, we've got some very gifted people. Uh, who, who are going to get a chance to, to work in an intensive environment with people from all over the world, you know? And this is an experience that there's no other way they could have. And so what we're going to have when we're done here is a, a whole group of theater practitioners on Guam with, with international experience. This has never happened before. You know, one of the things, when we came here to establish Theater Guam 20 odd years ago, and we found a lot of talent here, but it was not focused. There wasn't, you know, uh, the Gate Theater program was just starting up. Uh, of course, the UOG Theater program was here, but there wasn't a lot of other stuff going on, and there wasn't a lot of opportunity for performers and writers and uh, directors and technicians to practice the craft. 
And here we have this intensive experience where these people are going to get a chance to do this. And this is going to mean an educated, uh, experienced theater community for Guam for the foreseeable future. And that's the most exciting thing to me, you know, that, that there is going to be this pool of talent uh, that's the, and, and it's, it's magnificent. It's something that's never happened before. And uh, that's what I'm most excited about. It's time for an intermission, but in our next act, we introduce you to another delegate representing Guam in the Festival of Pacific Arts. Mm -hmm.